Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. Today we're going to be playing this game, Tobirase Doubutsu no Mori. That means leap out, animal forest, or as everyone else knows it in English, animal crossing, new leaf. Um, this game is actually a couple of years old now, but um, I thought I'd do a series about playing the game because it really is one of the best games you can use for studying Japanese. And the reason is that it has these furigana above every kanji. So not only um, can you learn how to pronounce the words, but any words you don't understand, um, you can look them up in a dictionary very, very quickly um, because you know how to pronounce the words. And also, it's it's got so much dialogue with so many different kinds of character that you'll learn plenty of Japanese dialects, different ways of saying things. Um, some of the ways they say things are not actually real or used in real life, but um, nonetheless, you'll learn um, how to deal with real life Japanese. And in addition to that, all the items in this game, there's over 4,000 items that you can collect. And because of that, you'll find yourself learning household appliances, uh, furniture, things that you would just see in real life. Um, but it's all in this game and it's all very everyday Japanese. So that's why we think this is the uh, one of the best games that you can use for studying Japanese. If you'd like more information, there's a full review on the Nihongo Gamer website, which I um, encourage you to go and check out in the link attached to this video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and play Tobirase Dobutsu no Mori. Um, if you have the physical cartridge version, you also get in the box this handy card which um, gives you the shortcuts. Press L and R to take a picture, how to run and walk, how to switch your um, tools using the D-pad, shows you how to open the list here of things that you own and different actions that you can do by pressing A or Y. Here's the game, let's go ahead and put it in our 3DS. Okay, so this is the opening screen to Animal Crossing in Japanese. Oh, sorry, I up the camera. And um, as you can see, uh, you just click the A button to start, and there's three options. The first one is to register our new character, second one is to move from a different town, and the last option here is to get a software update. So let's go ahead and click um, jun Junin Toroku, that's register a new resident. Okay, we start off the game, we're on a train with a blue cat. We're not sure where we're going. Um, but from now on, we're going to do the simple things like setting up our name, the name of our town, and um, whether we're a boy or a girl. So he says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I just check that the time is correct? Is it 1.11 in the afternoon? That's correct. Yes, it is. So the first option here says yes, the other one says no. And he says his watch is always wrong. Uh, so he's going to say he's sitting in front of us now. I think he wants to just know... Uh, this is how we like do all the settings in a sort of natural conversational way. And that's what's really nice about this game. Everything's done through conversation. Okay, so this is Anata no Namae wa, and it wants to know what your name is. Let's go ahead and type our name. Nihongo. Okay, Nihongo. So he says, is that your name, Nihongo? That's a great name. And here we can choose whether we're a boy or a girl. So it's Kakui Daro is a boyish way of saying um, that it's cool. If you say kawaii to show, that's a girlish way of saying that you're cute. And jigao is, means uh, wrong, and that's how we would change our name if we had made a mistake. Um, but let's go ahead and click um, kawaii to show. Okay, so uh, it's a name that suits you perfectly, and let's say, uh, yes, thank you. Or the second option, which says, actually, I'm a boy. Uh, and you could be a boy as well, but I already have a file where I'm a boy, so let's use one where we're a girl. By the way, uh, Nihongo, where are you going? This is where we get to choose the name of the village. Let's um, change it to Katakana and use uh, Gamer as our... Oh, Kamer. No, 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 no. Gamer. Ma. Gamer. Alright, so it's Gamer Village. And it says, uh, are you going to Gamer Village? That's right. So, so is another way of saying yes. And the other one, Chiao, always means no. Oh, and that was a mistake because actually I wanted to say yes. So, so, let's say yes. He's going to show us a map of what our town looks like. Yeah, I don't really like the look of this layout, so let's say no. And see if he gives us another option. Okay, here's another one. Yeah, I like the look of this. It looks like everything's easy to get to. Most of the villagers will be living in this area, I guess, so that's nice. Kokodes, here. Do you go there often? Yoku means often. I've never been there. Oboite nai ya means uh, I don't remember. And Himitsu means secret. So, itakoto nai. Let's say we've never been there before. Well, that means it's the first time you're there. You must be excited. Uh, what are you going to do there? Um, first one is we're moving there. Second one is secret. Um, I don't know. Let's, let's say it's a secret. Naisho. He says, oh, are you moving? That's right. Or the other one says, ah, I've been found out. 
Say Kai. That means that's right. Oh, and you can hear the tune ringing, which is um, means that the train is arriving at Gamer Village. Uh, he says, thanks for chilling out with me on the train. Sure, no problem, man. Train's pulling into Gamer Village now and uh, going through the uh, railroad crossing. And the first time we pull into our new village and we're going to meet our new character. Ta-da! Our character, Nihongo. This is the train station. And it's the welcome wagon! Now this bit's a little bit tricky because everyone speaks without letting you press the button to forward the dialogue, so if you don't understand this part, don't worry. The rest of the game is done, you know, when you press the button. Everyone's gonna get ready to say... Yokoso, and Yokoso means welcome. So, welcome to Gamer Village! So now what's really funny about this is she's already addressing you as the mayor of the town, um... But that's going to be a bit surprising because we don't know that we're the mayor of this town yet. So it says, we've been waiting for you. Ah, you've got the wrong person. Or, what? Or, oh, me? You've got the wrong person. Okay, now she's saying, um, you but you're the one. You said that you would come on this train. Um, and you can say, no, seriously, I'm really not, I'm really not who you're looking for. And, uh, or there must be some kind of misunderstanding. Let's click. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. Okay, chotto, chotto means, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's try it. Wait a minute! That's cute, you got all the actual uh, um, emotions and stuff coming up here. Okay, Yakuba is the um, city hall, or town hall, as it were. For more detailed chat, come to the uh, town hall and uh, in the middle of town and we'll talk about it. She says, uh, would you like to look at a map of your new town? Yes, I would love a map. Great, so our map is always going to be down here on the bottom and that will show us where we are. Let's go to the Yakuba together. Ishoni is together. Yakuba is the town hall. Okay, so now we can actually run around. You can even have a chat with some of these villagers here. Let's chat to this one. Hello. This person's name is Dosako. Dosako. She says, welcome to Gamer Village. If you don't know where to go, this is the town hall. It has the uh, flag here for your village up here. Press A to open the door. Let's see, this is where you work. It's the town hall. I also work here. My name is Shizue. So her name is Shizue. She uh, is our secretary at this uh, town hall. She said, I didn't realize um, that someone so cute was coming to our town. Well, darn right. The reason is because the uh, previous guy was, uh, <laughs> was uh, an old an old grandpa. So first you have to register as a resident. So Sonmin is a resident of the town, uh, of the village rather. Oh no, Tai Hen is a, oh no, it's like a big problem. You need an address. Okay, so Hitsio means uh, need and Jusho is an address. Um, we don't have either of those things, so we need to sort that out now. Okay, if we go down to the shopping district, there's a place called Tanuki Housing. Um, and we can go there at the to the Fudo Sanya, which is a, like a real estate agent. She said it'll probably be easier if we just look at the map. And here on the map, you can see Shotenga. It's nice that they've also written in hiragana, it's easy to read. So Shotengai, that's where we're going. Okay, so let's go ahead and run over to the real estate agents. Let's run and play and go over the railroad crossing over here. And if I'm not mistaken, Tanuki Housing is this place here on the left. Here it is, Tanuki Housing. Okay, this is the Tanuki guy. So have you come to talk about your um, house? That's right. He says, do you uh, have a place that you'd like to place your house? Let's say yes. Yes, we do. We know where we're going to put our house. He says, please teach me where you want to put your house. I'll follow you. Okay, so Mr. Tanuki Housing has come with us. Let's, uh, let's go for a run and find a place to put our house. I say... I'd say that somewhere in the center of town is probably the nicest place for the house. Well, maybe not too central. Okay, this place is quite near the city hall and also quite near to the... Recycle shop. I think this is quite a good place. I'm going to ask him to put the house here He says can we build it here Let's say yes koko ga e here is good Okay, it will look like this when it's built looks perfect to me great Say koko ni shimasu. I will put it. I'll do it here you must be very busy as you've just got here and that's true. We have quite a lot of things to sort out so for now he has built us a tent, which is nice. Ja ja ja, <laughs> ta da da da. He says, uh, "By the way, make sure you go back to the um, town hall." Okay, so town hall's <laughs> thankfully not very far away. Just go over here and open the door. Hi Shizue. 
Let's press A so we can have a chat with her. She says, did you find a good place? Perfect. Mama is kind of so-so. And money, she's... Okay, we can talk about money, but let's just say perfect. Bachiri. Okay, she wants to know when our birthday is. Let's say our birthday is March 25th. She says, no problem with that. That's right, it's okay. Now she wants us to look at the map at the bottom and you can see there's an area here called Hiroba and that means um, like a plaza of some sort, it's like a wide open space. And she said, um, I'm going to show you where it is. Okay, so this is the um, town plaza, this is where important events happen and I think what's going to happen is now we're going to um, plant the town tree. Pat pat. There it is. Well planted by Nihongo. Now we're free to walk around the town by ourselves, so um, now we can actually go for an exploration and actually start um, this video series. It's going to save the game for us. This game doesn't let you like make save points, go back and retry things. Everything's kind of done once. So whenever you play, you always have to make sure that you save before you finish. Otherwise, um, the game will get angry at you. So here we are. We are now free to run around our town of Gamer Village. So much that we can do in this game, and um, from now, it's going to be from now really that we actually start this video, this um, video series. Because really, what I want to do is show you um, a little bit of Japanese um, in a large number of videos about like all the small things that you can do. Let's go and check out where our house is being built <laughs> in our little tent. Uh, maybe we even uh, have a look inside. And she's always come to visit us. She says, "Oh, I brought you something nice. Here it is." So it's our first gift. All items in the game look like this leaf, but actually they're, um, it's, that's just an icon. So she says that is a lantern. Um, and it's a, la a light that we can use in our tent because it's too dark. So we can actually go and try to put our lamp down by pressing the item list here. This is our lantern. It says the name of the item here, Rantan. The first option here says Heia ni Kazaru. So Heia is our bedroom. And uh, Kazaru means to decorate. So let's decorate our bedroom with the lantern. And there it is in the middle. Press A, and we can turn it on. Okay, so that's all I've really got to show you today. That was how to set up um, Dobutsu no Mori in Japanese. Um, I thought it'd be good if you could actually see how to do all the initial setup, especially if you're not familiar with Japanese yet. Um, but it's really from now on that it's going to get interesting, because what we can do is we can learn vocabulary, um, grammar, we can learn... Um, commonly used phrases, and you know, even just um, running around town and just picking up objects, we can just learn about new things and uh, different Japanese dialects and really, really um, learn a lot about Japanese using this one game. And I've got to say that in any Japanese tests that I've taken, really, I felt like all the, the words that I had learned I had seen at some point in this game. So it really is an excellent way of studying. Um, but really, uh, yeah, the fun part comes from now when we make the future videos. Um, they're going to be quite short in length, but just, you know, one Japanese concept at a time using Animal Crossing. Make sure that, um, that you pick up the Japanese version of the game. So when you're looking it up on um, import stores or whatever, it's called Tobi Dase Dobutsu no Mori. Um, um, I assume that if you've got an um, um, uh, American or an English 3DS that you won't be able to download it on the eShop. So make sure you get this um, Japanese version uh, if you're buying the cartridge. But there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. It's bonus gacha time! Let's open up the gacha toy. Um, I can't remember really what is in this one. What is this? Man on a trolley? It looks like we don't get the man, but we do get the trolley. Let's open this up. Why do I have this? Okay, let's open this as well. Box complete with peg. And I have done it terribly. Mikan. It's a box of oranges. Stick that on here. Oh, no way. No way. You can pull it and it goes. Go! Okay! 